Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your business. And if you want to get in contact with me, then if you have a look at the screen in front of you below, highlighted in green, are three ways that you can reach me directly to get help with your sports business. So today, I want to come on and share with you seven ways to increase revenue with your indoor sports facility. So if you're a coach that regularly watches our channel and you have an indoor sports facility that you own or you're currently leasing at the moment, right, here are seven different ways and seven different services that you can offer to increase your revenue uh, each month, okay? So the points I'm gonna share with you today are the ones that are highlighted in yellow, and I'm gonna break them down uh, one by one. Now, if you haven't yet, right, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do put out content every single 48 hours, so every two days, we have content coming out to help you to grow and scale uh, your, your training business, right? So make sure you subscribe. And again, if you want to contact me or get any, any further help, the highlighted green uh, put things below is are going to be the best ways that you can connect with me. Okay, so... First one is create your own youth club teams. Now, if you are an indoor facility owner, then something you can do and something that will work really well is to create your own club teams. Now, how can you do this? So by doing this, obviously, you have to be very good at marketing. You have to make sure that you're very organized. But if you get a certain amount of, of kids, for example, if you have a, a, a list of about 100 players that regularly use your, your facility or you have them on a database, you can create a tryouts where they come out and try for your team. Okay, Now, you could have it where you're, you have different mixed age groups in each team. Okay, you can have it where it's a co-ed league a club club team, right? Now, what you can do is, for example, if you've got 100 kids, okay, and you get 10 uh, players per team, right? That's 10 teams that you can have. And what you can do is you can put together your own youth uh, league, Right, so this works if it's in basketball, this works if it's in soccer, right? If you have 10 teams that are attending, right, or that are playing in your in your league, right, you can create it to the point where it's 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 set the setup is pretty much like a youth club, right? So I'm gonna use soccer as an example. Right? If you've got 10 teams that you've created. You can have it where they might train one one evening per week, and then they have matches at your facility on the weekend. Okay, so their their training session might be in the evening, right? It might be a five to six training session, and then the the matches or the games are Saturday or Sunday morning. Okay, so it's one training session, one game, right? You can build this if you've got a hundred players. You put together 10 teams of 10. My math serves me correctly. That is 100. Okay? And you can, you can create your own youth league with youth teams. Right? This can work well if, even if you have 60 players that turn up to your tryouts and they want to take part. They might be players that are already playing at travel teams or they might be players that don't want to play at travel teams but they want to play in your league. Right, So you create a mini type of a youth club where they train once per, once per week and then they play a match on the weekend, 
Now, next one is rentals. Okay, so renting it out to local clubs or adults who just want to show up and play with, with some friends. Right, a lot of coaches that run these facilities, something that works really well is they connect with local businesses and they offer their facility to that uh, to that business at a discounted rate if they can get at least 10, 10 people to show up and play once a week. So where your facility is, you might have an area where there's loads of offices. You might go and visit the, the offices and try and organize something for them so that they can play a game of, of pick up soccer or pick up basketball and you offer it to them at a discounted rate if they do a block booking with you, right? This is fantastic for, for the business because it's it's kind of a, a team building exercise that they can do every week. You can also run corporate leagues as well. So if you have loads of local businesses in the area, you put together a corporate league where all the businesses are playing each other. It could be a five aside, it could be a six aside, it could be a three aside, depending how you wanna do it. I know five aside works really well. This could be if it's in basketball or in soccer, right? So you can run adult uh, leagues and run even if you wanted to corporate events. Uh, clinics and camps. So camps, you run camps on holiday breaks. So popular holiday breaks, you can run your own camps. Uh, clinics, you can run at least once per month, right? And this could be, if you're in soccer, for example, you could you could do a shooting clinic, you could do a goalkeeping clinic, you could do a striker's clinic, you could do a defender's clinic, right? You could specialize the clinic in one certain area of the game. This is the same if you were in basketball and run a clinic at least once per month where parents pay on the gate or they pay uh, upfront okay, through an online booking system. Okay, and This could generate an extra five to seven K per, per month if you have camps and clinics that sell out at large uh, volumes. Uh, next one is parties and function events. So parties, it could be uh, kids' parties, but also you could run it uh, for adult parties as well or functions, right? So if you're, because I, I know a lot of facilities, what they have is they have, they'll have a soccer field, for example, and then they'll have a bar area where they close that bar out and, and they can hire it out for a, a, an event or a do. It might be a birthday party, it might be a wedding, Right. And that just brings in extra revenue to the facility. OK, so hiring out for parties or function events uh, is a good way to generate extra revenue for your indoor facility. Uh, drop in sessions. This is a really good one. I was speaking to a coach actually not long ago. We were talking about these drop in sessions. He runs what uh, drop in sessions every Friday evening. So from nine to ten. You basically show up, you pay $10, 5 or $10 to play. Okay? And then whoever shows up, you organize teams or you organize uh, how, however many players you have, you organize teams. So it could be a roll on, roll off, or it could be if 10 players show up, you could do a five aside, and it could be co ed, right? So you could have uh, men and female and male players. Uh, players show up. You could do drop-in sessions for adults. Okay, He does a drop-in session every Friday evening. So after people have finished work, that's when normally he runs the drop-in session. I think it's from 9 to 11 at night he runs it. Uh, it's pretty much pay on the gate. So you show up, you pay $10, and then however many players show up at that event, at, at that time, at that drop-in session, is what you organize, okay? So you might have, sometimes you might have 50, some some weeks you might have 40, but it's just a drop-in session. And it's good for, for people that can't commit uh, on a week-to-week -week basis, right? They might just wanna drop in one week where they might finish work early or they're available 
They show up, they play, have fun. If you've got a bar area, you can set up the bar where people can, can drink and eat food as well. Uh, youth leagues, right? This is a good one, especially in the winter months, right? Winter months where maybe some teams can't be outside because of the weather or some leagues have stopped. You could run youth leagues where you promote it to all the local youth teams in your area. For, it could be for basketball, it could be for soccer, and you run a youth winter league. You could run a youth uh, spring league, a youth summer league, right? And there could be prizes for, for the winning team, okay? So these are seven very simple ways that you can increase your revenue at your indoor sports facility. So if you want to contact me or you want more help with this, I do work with, with coaches one-on-one. -on -one. So below, if you, you can see it in green, those are the three ways that you can connect with me to, to get on a call. We can talk about your business and see if we can help you uh, moving forward. All right. Thank you for watching again and make sure you subscribe to the channel.